the Rice Value Chain Transformation Project is a five years rice development project that is jointly funded by the government of the Gambia and the African Development Bank. The main purpose of the project is to improve farm incomes, rural livelihoods, food and nutrition security and contribute to poverty reduction through increased commercialization of rice in the Gambia. The general objective of rice value chain transformation project is to contribute to food and nutrition security and enhance economic growth by reducing rice importation. The main intervention areas of the project are Central River Region South, Central River Region North and Upper River Region. One of the most important activities that should assist the project in actualizing its objectives are the multiplication and dissemination of Nerica L19 sub 1 and Orilog 6 which are proven climate smart and high yielding rice varieties from Africa rice in Abidjan, Ivory Coast. The Honorable Minister of Agriculture speaking during the presentation of seeds of these two rice varieties to Wellingara Kejau Seed Growers Association emphasizes the importance of good seed in agricultural production and productivity. She points out that the reason rice value chain project acquired this superior seed is to assist the Gambia in actualizing food self-sufficiency. Farming cannot be undertaken in the absence of seed, especially good seed. Therefore, if projects like Rice Value Chain Transformation Project tried and brought us good seeds, we are very pleased with such initiative. The seed we are seeing here came all the way from Abidjan, Ivory Coast. There is a reason as to why they brought these seeds. The first reason is, in the Gambia we want to actualize food self-sufficiency which cannot be done without good seeds. That is why the Rice Value Chain Transformation Project spends substantial amount of money to bring these seeds from Abidjan for you farmers to nurture and multiply. But it will pass through National Seed Secretariat, which is responsible for seed management to hand it to you. We have heard all your concerns, but the priority is good seed and we will later address other areas. <laughs> Honorable Minister assures the seed growers that they will be provided with adequate fertilizer and National Seed Secretariat will be around to assist them in the field in order to make the seed multiplication a success. I know before next month, another fertilizer will be available for you to help yourself with. Lack of fertilizer is not going to hinder you from multiplying the seed. The National Seed Secretariat will be around to regularly visit you and provide the necessary technical advice for the seed multiplication to succeed. NSS is aware of the fact that a large sum of money has been spent on these seeds and we will not hand it to you and abandon you. They will be visiting you and advise you for the entire country to benefit from it. The project director of the Rice Value Chain Transformation Project, Mr. Lamin Fatajo, says the reason government of the Gambia and the African Development Bank funded this project is to help the country considerably save money through reduction of rice importation. He further explained that the new rice varieties the project is promoting were developed by Africa Rice in Abidjan and it is expected to fetch 6.5 to 7 tons per hectare and the project will work to make them available to many farmers in the country. <laughs> It is Rice Value Chain Transformation Project 
that call us to this meeting. I am the director of the project. The project is funded by the government of the Gambia and the African Development Bank. They are the ones that have the thought of a five years rice development project. The main reason for developing rice production is to significantly reduce the money spent on rice importation and in the long term to stop rice importation into the country. The project knows that rice production is done with good seed. Mostly Gambia rice farmers, what we refer as good seed, are not actually good seed because every year you cultivate it and remove some from it and in the long run it won't be a viable seed. The project decided to bring a superior rice variety from Abidjan from Africa rice. It is Africa rice that developed the seed and gave it to us. The reason for our convergence here is for the Honorable Minister to give the seeds to NSS and NSS will hand it to Seed Growers Association of Wellingara Kejo for further multiplication. We are expecting that before mid rainy season seed growers will harvest it because it is a fast maturing variety of 90 days. The next rainy season many farmers will be able to cultivate it. Within these five years the seed nurturing will be renewed and if that is done we will be able to get 7 tons or 6.5 tons from a hectare. If you didn't renew the nurturing of the seed every year you cannot boost yield. Abu Bakar Sankare, a farmer in Base, doing Nari administered Narika L19 and Orilok 6 trial in Upper River region, acknowledges the superiority of Narika L19 and Orilok 6 rice varieties. He states that the varieties are early maturing and have sweet aroma. Sankare says, with the coming of these rice varieties, the Gambia is capable of combating food insecurity. My name is Abubakar Sankare from Base Santa Su. I am also a rice farmer. Our rice field is called Base Cluster Rice Growers Association. The rice varieties the project brought are very good. They brought Orilok 6 and Narika L19. The reason I consider these varieties very good is because a friend of mine from Spain, upon seeing the rice in the field, said to me this variety is very good. He said that is the kind of variety they cultivate in Spain. This gave me confidence that the Orilok 6 can combat food insecurity in the Gambia. Because Orilok 6 is a variety that has good aroma and it is an early maturing variety. When Nari brought the variety, they said it matures between 90 to 100 days. But I personally realized that when Orilok 6 has adequate water, its maturity period will be less than that. The Narika L19 is more than 100 days. When I calculated the maturity period of Narika L19, I found out that it goes up to 122 days. The Narika L19 is a high water resistant variety. It is not the same with Orilok 6, but if people visit my plot, when they see the Narika L19, they become happy. The two rice varieties, Narika L19 and Orilok 6, could combat food insecurity in the country if we are steadfast. Nari gave me 5 kilos of each of the two rice varieties. The time I was cultivating it, my field has so much water, and I broadcasted it and some didn't germinate. When I harvested it, I got 250 kilos of Orilok 6 and over 325 kilograms of Narika L19. Dr. Ibrahim Asonko, Director of Crop Research, Nari, explains the activities they are conducting with respect to these new rice varieties. We are doing three different activities, local evaluation, research, uh, extension manage. We are also doing local evaluation with farmers. Farmer manage. We are not interfering. Just give them the seed and they will grow it on, on their own way. We are also doing what we call demonstration on these same varieties. So in the demonst demonstration too, we are showcasing our technology, which we at least showcase try to disseminate to farmers because at the end of the day, we'll organize what we call a field day. 
all of our farmers within that locality, they will come and see the technology that we are doing. And all the farmers who were involved, they will explain the, some of the procedures involved in that activity. So they will learn, at the same time, they will also have an opportunity to also have the variety, access to varieties. Well, so that's the main objective of this project, to reach out to many, many communities. Many people have access to this seed. So this is exactly what we are doing. Kausu Fofana of Wasu, CRR North, is among the first farmers to try Nerica L19 and Orilog 6 with the assistance of Nari. Some of the noticeable qualities Mr. Fofana explained about the two varieties include early maturing, high tillering capacity, sweetness, flood resistance, high yielding among others. He further discloses that through Nari rice value chain transformation project supported him with plowing, nursery making, fertilizer and transplanting. That was my cause for finality was Kankilim Farmers Association. My name is Kausu Fofana from Wasu. Our association is called Kankiling Farmers Association. We are working with Nari for a long period now. They used to bring us many rice varieties for us to cultivate. They brought two rice varieties. This one is Orilog 6 and the other one is Narika L19. They brought the varieties to us in September. It was 15 September we made the nursery here. Now we are into the three months after transplanting. As you have seen, Orilog 6 is early maturing variety and it has even matured now. The Orilog 6 is faster than the Narika L19, but Narika L19 tillers more than the Orilog 6. Narika L19 is a delicious rice because it is soft. The Narika L19 has resistance, which is water resistance. If you harvest the Narika L19 in water, it can stay there for a while without germinating. They gave me 5 kilos of each variety for me to try. That is what you are seeing here. Orilog 6 is early maturing. It is faster than Narika L19 when you transplant them. It is the Orilog 6 that produces greens faster than Narika L19. However, bats are attracted to Orilog 6 and it does not hide the grains. It also attracts people, even they are far. So many people visited the plot and asked about the variety and whether it is fast, because farmers want early maturing varieties. I gave the seed to many farmers for them to cultivate. When you use to cook 10 cups from other rice varieties with Orilog 6, you will only need 8 cups to suffice you, because it is heavy powerful and delicious. Narika L19 tillers more and hides greens when in water. Thus, bats are not easily attracted to it. That is the advantage of Narika L19. It is the Narika L19 that yields better than Orilog 6. Orilog 6 also produces good yield, but it does not tiller more. When we started working with Rice Value Chain Transformation Project, they first of all help us with plowing. They help us with money for plowing. Nari also, on the other hand, help us on how to do nursery. They help us with money to pay for transplanting. They gave us fertilizer for us to apply on the rice. At every stage, Nari will help us. They did a lot. Due to that, many farmers are interested in the varieties. <laughs> Makang Jara of Prikamaba, CRR South, is among farmers doing trial on Nerika L19 and Orilog 6, and this is what he has to say about the varieties and the support provided by the project. My name is Makang Jara. I am from Prikamaba. This is my experiment brought to me by Nari. Last August, Nari brought two bags of rice seeds to my compound in my absence. My wife told me that these seeds are brought by Nari and they want you to try them. I was confused and I called them to ask what should I do with the seeds. They said that it is an experiment and we 
want you to cultivate them. That was around August 28 and I was busy with threshing rice in the field. When that was about to be finished, I nursed the seed. I did the nursery at the end of August. The one on my right hand side is Orilog 6 and the other one on my left is Narika L19. After one week of transplanting, I applied fertilizer on them the same day. After 10 days, I paid people to weed it. After another 10 days, I applied urea on it and I paid people to weed it. It was Nari who were supporting me in all this. They were giving me money for me to spend on the plots. They gave me money to pay for transplanting and weeding. Nari gave me money for people to work on the banks of the plot. It is true I did the actual work, but the money was not from my pocket. Nari got the two varieties from the project, and I got it through Nari. These rice varieties are very good. They should even perform better than this, because the time I was transplanting, there was too much water in the plot. When I transplanted it, a heavy rain came that very night, and it was all submerged in water. I never thought the rice would be attractive like this. When water gradually reduced, I applied fertilizer on it. The rice is good because if it was other varieties, they would not be able to survive the water. <laughs> Mohammed Sisoho from Bayram could not hide his happiness with the coming of Rice Value Chain Transformation Project. He used the opportunity to encourage the project to make the two rice varieties available to many farmers as possible. I am Mohammed Sisoho from Bayram. I am working in the Jahali area rice field. We are very happy with the coming of the project a lot. We want all farmers to get the project's rice varieties because the varieties are good and early maturing. Anyone who is willing to work will get it. If anybody who is not willing to work should step aside, the project want the country to develop and we will support them on that. The assistance is very attractive because they sponsor everything. The project gives you fertilizer, then you the farmer don't have any difficulty. Therefore, you should take the work seriously. Mrs. Jarai Jaune of Barajali Tenda, CRR Not, recounts some of the things the Rice Value Chain Transformation Project has done for them. Among them is the revitalization of their rice field by rehabilitating canals. My name is Jarai Jaune from Barajali Tenda. We are welcoming visitors and happy with their coming. We are thanking God. When Rice Value Chain Transformation Project came here, they asked us whether we can do the work. We agreed that we can do it. We have seen that when we do the work, we will get development. The project did the plowing and provided fertilizer free of charge. The project rehabilitated our water canals, which were in a very bad state. They brought machines for pumping water because the field is not tidal irrigated. They also provided fuel for the pumping machine. These are all assistants of the Rice Value Chain Transformation Project. We are thankful of the good things the project brought to us. We never thought we will get such help from the government. Both men and women are steadfast to make sure that we get improvement from the work. The Regional Agriculture Director of CRR North, Mr. Fode Jadama, says his office is demonstrating Orilog 6 with farmers in order to figure out characteristics such as duration, tillering, and yield. Mr. Jairama further expresses his optimism with regard to the project implementation and mechanism which is channeled through regional agriculture directorates. 
Communication, Education and Extension Services Unit uh, to be with us today to talk about um, the project which is the Rise Value Chain Transformation Project. Um, this is a new project that has been designed to help um, the government of the Gambia to pursue the objective of uh, the National Development Plan 2018-2021. Um, the project started in this region at this year 2020. In the way it started um, was they, we had a consultative meeting with them first at the regional level at my office to discuss and familiarize ourselves as to what their activities are going to be and then the intervention areas in terms of um, rice production in, in the region and the opportunities available for the project to be successfully implemented. Speaking on behalf of the project, Mr. Ibrahim Asise, Social Development Officer of Rice Value Chain Transformation Project, gives a rundown of the project's activities with NARI, Farmers and Extension. The project uh, is promoting two varieties, basically uh, Orilog 6 and Nerica L19 which are relatively new in the Gambia here. Uh, these two varieties are believed to be able to enhance uh, production and productivity, leading to the overall goal of the project, which is uh, commercialization of, the, of, of rice in the Gambia. Ultimately, uh, leading to the reduction of uh, rice import, rice importation. So these varieties are sourced from Africa rice. Uh, they are working with the project. And uh, every year, throughout the five years, 1.5 metric tons uh, is obtained from Africa rice and then uh, delivered to National Seed Secretariat, which is also another uh, implementing partner. The National Seed Secretariat uh, give it to a group of seed growers to multiply. So we have successfully done the first phase of the seed multiplication uh, some, uh, and those seed multiplication has yielded about uh, 59 metric tons ready for distribution in store. But we don't want to waste time. Uh, we say with the Orilox, I think because it's an early maturing variety, uh, let, let's try to see whether three cycle of production is possible in a, in a, in a year. So. Uh, we decided to uh, take some farmers in the basically in the Jali and Pachar here uh, in the CRR North and URR. We take some farmers uh, who are ready to volunteer and try the variety, and we'll see whether it will be able to perform very well. If it works out, then it means the three season is possible. If the project's implementation goes as planned. The Rice Value Chain Transformation Project is expected to directly benefit over 15,000 households and about 120,000 indirect beneficiaries.